My name is Jan Gutgeluk. I'm the CEO of Virtrix and developer of the Virtrix Omni. So talk a little about, you guys have your own Trevor Shadow Ops demo here. Walk us through this game experience. Yeah, Trevor is our demo game to highlight all the things you can do with the Omni. You know, matching your speed in the game to your actual speed on the Omni, decoupling the walking direction from the viewing direction. It's very exciting. It's optimized for VR and for the Omni. So it's a very immersive uh, gaming experience. Now here at the show, the Oculus uh, guys have released the SDK 2. What impact will that have on the games people will be able to play in tandem with your Omni? I think it's exciting. It's great to see everything that's going on in the, the head on the display space. Sony announcing their headsets, Oculus with their new dev kits, high resolution. The technology is here and it's only getting, getting better from here, so we're very happy to see that. Will your technology work with something like a Sony device? Our technology is compatible with any head-mounted display, so we're not bound to the Rift. Uh, right now we are PC-based, but certainly in the future, uh, console support is possible. Have you guys actively sought out Sony now that they're official with their VR? Uh, that's something we'll be looking into in the, the next few weeks, yeah, absolutely. There are also other VR sets that are all around the GDC. Can you talk a little about potential for inclusion beyond the Oculus? Yeah, again, any, any headset that's coming out to the market, uh, we're agnostic of the headset, so we're compatible with any one of those. And it's great to see smaller players or other players also coming out with headsets in addition to the Oculus Rift. It's just great for VR in general. And speaking of PR, what kind of uh, PR have you guys driven after being on Shark Tank? Our oh, shorting was, was a great show for us. A lot of exposure, you know, our inboxes flooded and our sales were booing ever since. And ever, ever since then we've been at CES, now we're here. Just uh, yeah, great press attention uh, all across the board. So yeah, it's, it, from a you, PR perspective, we, we, had a, we had a good ride. You guys have also been showing it to the actual public at events like South by Southwest. What has the reaction been? Uh, San Diego Comic Con last year as well. Yeah, we love to be at trade shows and show it to the audience because the audience, they love it. They love to see it when they try it out and uh, they're excited about it. So it's always good for us to be out uh, with our customers and our backers and get that, that positive response. It's very validating. When it comes to VR, now that we have big companies like Sony behind it, how much closer to a reality do you feel it is? Yeah, it's getting close. We're getting close to that, that holodeck experience from, from Star Trek where you can walk around and you explore different worlds and your mind thinks you're somewhere else. That's what the Omni is. You know, you're transported to a different place and you can look around and you can also walk around in that different place. It's very immersive. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the price points and what's available for people to purchase? Yeah, we're offering the Omni right now on our website for $499 uh, for pre-order and it's available right now. We'll ship the first units in July of this year. And then that will work in tandem with the Oculus, which people still have to wait for in order to play, unless they're going to play with the dev kit. Uh, exactly, you can play with the dev kit, or, or you'll wait for other headsets to, to hit the market, that's right. When it comes to the games, what kind of support are you guys seeing beyond the Traver game that you guys have here? Yeah, the beauty of the Omni is that it works out of the box with existing games. You can play the Omni with Call of Duty, Battlefield, Far Cry, you name it, because in, in essence, our software transits your motions into keystrokes that drive the avatar in the game. So any game out of the box works. Now it's great or even more fun with dedicated games like our demo game Trevor that you can really take advantage of some of these novel motion functions uh, that the Omni provides. Uh, so that's now where we're here reaching out to developers to, to make that happen as well. So this is a device that you don't even need the Oculus to experience then the, the, the movement. Well, we're actually having a demo game here as well where you don't even need the Oculus, that's right. It can also be a novel controller for third-person third, part, third -person games on the big screen. So it's just a, a lot of fun even without uh, VR goggles. What kind of a workout would a gamer get playing a game like that? It, it can be a workout. One hour of intense gameplay, well, we did a test and you walk around three to three and a half miles and you burn about 350 to 400 calories. So, uh, yeah, you certainly can burn some calories while, uh, while playing video games. Have you guys inquired with gyms and big companies like that in terms of having this uh, supplement things like the, the bikes and other elements that have the TVs and games attached to them? Yeah, absolutely, we get a lot of inbounds uh, regarding that topic. Gyms that want to play zombies in their gym or they want to use it as, as, a, as an exercise device. And that's great to see. Uh, that's certainly something that in the future is one of the applications of the Omni. How far away do you feel we are between before virtual reality becomes like a mainstream type of accepted form of entertainment? I think we're getting closer. Now with big players like Sony stepping in, uh, now this whole conference here, VR is, is front and center. So you see it's coming, you know, and uh, before you know it, uh, VR will be the next big thing. It will be a mass market new medium. 
and it's just a, a very exciting road that we have ahead of us.